We're talking about VMC today, and I don't mean visual meteorological conditions. I mean the minimum controllable speed of a multi-engine aircraft operating on a single engine. So you can see we're in a King Air 350 right now with one engine already shut down and secured. And we're gonna slow this airplane up. We're gonna get this thing nice and slow. We're gonna maintain altitude right around 5,800 and get this airplane down to about 105 knots before we start increasing power again. There we are in our flap range. There's one notch, there's another notch. Get the gear down, last notch of flaps. Airplane's getting nice and slow. Autopilot's coming off. There we are, about 105. I'm gonna smoothly increase power and smoothly increase my rudder. What you're gonna notice is I am now at full power, full right rudder, and my heading, I can't maintain it. It is ticking over to the left into the dead engine. I have now lost control of this aircraft. I need to re regain control of this aircraft. Now it's a little counterintuitive. You would think, I need speed. Why would I get rid of my power? But that's exactly what you're gonna do. You're gonna lower the nose, reduce power, reduce that rudder, clean up the drag to help you accelerate. There's VYSE, smoothly increase our pitch and bring that power back in so that we can climb away from the ground because we just had to push this airplane almost into the dirt to recover from that. But as you could tell, a VMC doesn't have to be a scary situation. If you stay calm, follow your training, even a loss of control in flight is recoverable. 